You got Adam Peters, who is set to be the general manager of the Washington Commanders, right? So uh, there's going to be some power, power, wonder-working power in this deal because he's going to have, you know, that full throttle, uh, you know, power, you know, which you kind of want as a GM. And so, John, let's just tell me your thoughts about Adam Peters. Let's play devil's advocate. Let's let's go good. Let's go bad. Let's go, John. Yeah, let, look, I'll say this, okay? Everybody wanted to keep Adam Peters. Uh, the 49ers been over backwards trying to find a way to keep this guy. But look, what the new Washington ownership gave him, the 49ers never could. Not only did he get GM, he got president um, of operations, and he gets to pick his head coach. This dude has unlimited power to build a team from the bottom up. And I put on Twitter, like if I could have any job in the NFL, it would be exactly what Adam Peters just got complete power, complete control and build a team from bottom to top. He would never have that. Shanahan's going to be the guy Lynch is the number two until we win a super bowl. Then he'll leave. Peters got everything. The Niners could have done nothing to give Peters what he just got. Adam Peters is already like a top five, most powerful people in the NFL. As far as like control over a team, like already uh, with what he just got. So uh, the idea of why did we, you know, give Lynch the raise and president of operations, that was to keep John Lynch from going to broadcasting. That wasn't necessarily, yeah, you wanted to keep Peters. And the goal was we win a Super Bowl this year. John Lynch goes into broadcasting. Then Peters takes over. But even if that was the case, Peters wasn't going to get this much power. It's still going to be Shanahan's show. So uh, just be thankful. Adam Peters has been great. He is one of the people, one of the people responsible for a lot of the day three success, um, the drafting in day three for a lot of big time hits. You know, how much, whose guys, who's, you know, Brian Greasy, who do you give credit to? You give credit to all of them. Um, it's not a one or the other type of thing. So, so thankful for Adam Peters. He's an exec. We were talking to the group chat, the 49ers rush uh, chat this morning, you and Vicky and, we fight like brother and sister, don't we? Oh, like, really? Do it is. Listen, every she, like, <laughs> I know if she's I see not y'all watching. post next to each other, I put my phone down, I pick it up, it's got twenty five messages. I mean, it's just every time, and I love I, it. I know she feels as if she can't ever say anything because I'm going to clap water, back, man. but Ooh. she does it to me. But you know, you know what it is. She said. And she wasn't wrong. I, I I had to make it clear that she wasn't wrong with what she said. But in the in the instance of bringing it up, it was like the we weren't. He's not a player. He's not a he's not a coach. Excuse me, he's not a coach. So I was like, hey man, it doesn't really apply to him. He's an exec, and so they can go. He'll whenever. still be around. He'll still oh, be yeah. in the games. He'll still <laughs> be sure. all that stuff. But he his just, job's basically concluded anyway. Like yeah. he's not doing day to day contracts operations. up no. done. He's not scouting right this second. You know, like, listen. Right. And that's that's going to be my follow up question to you. All right. So I'm going to ask you that. But before we get to my question, uh, we have a question from Nigel. He says, do we get a comp pick for Peters going to Washington? So I'm going to keep it a buck. I've been checking. I, I got his I, uh, I got his 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 tree. I, I, I've I've been searching to see if there's any African-American, any type of descent, minority, of, something, something, uh, anything uh, that we can find. I went I know straight that, to his Wikipedia. I didn't find anything. That was funny. I don't think they posted it on the Wikipedia. You got to get that uh, Ancestors <laughs> kit. Um, <Yeah. laughs> you got to get those results, man. We got to put our money up. Mr. Peters. Here we exactly. go. Exactly. Like, when Mike McDaniel got hired, no, like it was just like, oh, man, congratulations for him. I hate to see him go. But then it turns out, you know, he was, you know, didn't talk a lot about his past and whatever else. And then the rule states that if a minority is hired into the head GM or the head coaching job, you get those compensation picks, which the Niners have got more than any other team by a considerable margin. Um, but yeah, if it's a non-minority hiring, then no picks are awarded. So I do not expect the Niners to receive compensation picks on this one. And with Steve Wilkes getting um, interviews and things like that, you have to be on the team for two consecutive years so even if Wilkes got hired, the 49ers would not be receiving compensation picks this yeah. the following he, year. He got to do one more bid. So, you know, Steve Wilkes got to do one more bid um, in order for the Niners to get a comp pick like John right. just stated. Speaking of uh, Adam Peters going and, and being his, on his way out, um, you know, Clint Kubiak is, has been supposedly interviewing. Well, they, at least they requested the Chicago, was it the Chicago Bears? I think they requested to interview him. So, the Niners, yeah, you're part of the Shanahan tree. You're going somewhere. 
I mean, they are. But, we have been picked and right. picked and picked, and it doesn't matter. But, they just get better and better. But but why? Let's talk. Let's try to talk to the faithful and why not to worry about this. Like this this won't be an issue with these guys leaving. This is this is what happens. You know, I've been watching football all my life, and I might not have understood at, at a younger age about coaches being coordinators and these other positions, and then they end up becoming head coaches in the league, depending on their record. I might not have understood it then like I do now, but this is just what happens. And the better your team is, the more of your coaches are going to be surfaced out. Like, that's what's going to happen. It's going to happen. And it's here's the thing. Like, one of the things that I really like about the 49ers is, look, they're going to invest draft capital and actual salary cap capital in the defense. We have the highest priced defense in the NFL. The offense is going to be carried by Kyle Shanahan. Always. And so that's what it is. Those two things are constant. Now, you might lose personnel. You might lose offensive coordinators, defensive coordinators, play callers, play designers, all that, whatever. doesn't matter. You're going to keep Kyle Shed ahead, and you're going to keep investing on the defensive side of the ball. And that has been the formula for the 49ers' success and staying at the top despite – look at the Eagles. The Eagles lose two guys, and their whole organization whole, falls whole apart. Different, whole different team. They're whole swapping different, callers in the middle of the season. and Whole different uh, – com- uh, 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 what's the word that we like to use? Com- uh, not com- Continuity? Not continuity, but like uh, the culture. The culture is different. Yeah. Even the culture, like, it's changed, right? Yeah, AJ Brown just deleted all of he, his Eagles Twitter's stuff off his social media all, and Twitter. All gone. gone. All gone. Middle of the, you're going into the playoffs, dude. And y'all want it. Y'all want a hint. Like, yeah. come on. I, I do like AJ Brown. I do like him too, but got not some issues. He, and 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 we and we got mad at Debo. Like, I, we we were pissed because Debo. That, and that was a contract negotiation uh, tactic right. that he was doing. Not in the middle of the playoffs. Now, that would have pissed me off. Playoffs. That's too much. Yeah. That let me know that the Eagles are going to lose to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers I hope so. on this weekend. I hope man. so. But, you know, back to this, and uh, you know, not that I want to put a bow on it, but there are players in place or guys in place, not players, to already move into this role. Um, you know, uh, Lombardi talked about Tariq Ahmed, who he got some face time with the draft last year. You've yes. got R.J. Gillen, the director of pro personnel, and it's like, look, if you're in this organization, you're being groomed for the guy, whether it's defense, offense, personnel, scouting, doesn't matter. Promotions are coming. We keep winning. People are going to take our stuff, our people, but guess what? You get promoted, and now there's even a little bit of a backflow because Martin Mayhew, who we lost and received compensation picks to um, Washington already as their GM. He's now in purgatory because Adam Peters, the new guy who worked with Mayhew here back in 2017, 2018, he determines if he's going to have a job and stay. If not, maybe Martin Mayhew comes back. Like there's options that are available to build from within. And the Niners have been next man up on offense, defense, and in the pro personnel, you know, exec side of things. So you just keep the machine flowing. The 49ers Rush Podcast.